Hello my wonderful pair bears and welcome back to another episode of the Decades Challenge. Woohoo! Okay, so before we begin, we are going to start with some beautiful, interesting facts for the 1890s. Okay, so photographer Jacob Rees publishes How the Other Half Lives in 1890, documenting the horrible living conditions immigrants faced living in New York City tenements. Okay. That's kind of horrible, um, but hey, we are learning facts here. This is all pop culture of 1890. Um, also, because our, our eldest kids, we're going to say, are about 10. So we're going to go, it's, all right, it's 18, um, 1895, okay? <laughs> we're just going to their kids, okay? 1895. So I'm going to pick out an interesting fact from, all right, ex-slave and civil rights advocate Frederick Douglass dies on February 20th, 1895. And I absolutely love these fun facts that I will be doing them at the start of every episode. Okay, so in the last episode, of course, we did get a doggo. Let's go and refresh ourselves. I don't know what he's doing. He's mopey. I don't know what that means, but there he is. Of course, he is hopefully heading home. Okay, no, no, no. We're gonna have Charles call. Um, him home and we of course have a very very pregnant uh, Caroline which has a very weird bumpy thingy on her tummy which is weird okay we have a stressed out uh, Charles Jr um because he is going to be the next heir I kind of want to work a little bit more on him this episode and make sure that his needs are fine have you done your homework please do your homework Okay, and we're going to have, of course, Laura Beth do her homework too. <clears throat> so, because secondary school is not a necessity in um, for this, it'll pretty much be if they have enough money, then um, they choose which child they're sending to college. And I cannot wait for some of our holidays to come up. So, um, Harvest Fest will be the first holiday everybody gets to celebrate together. And I freaking cannot wait until it's the harvest fast. Okay, what's wrong with this dude? He's grungy, but it's okay. He's gonna get it. No more plants. Plants be tending to. Okay. Did you harvest everything today, doll? Yeah. Oh, and we have um a cow plant. <clears throat> I want to make sure nobody gets eaten by this cow plant. If you all know what I mean. Um. But we are. Looking after our plants and stuff. Oh, everything's out of season because it's summer. Okay. Alright, Caroline, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to give the little dude a bath. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I'm doing a little bit more research on our 1890s decade challenge. Now, the next era does not um, start up until pretty much um Charles Jr. ages to young adult. So um we will be playing with this era for a little while. Okay, I'm just making sure I have there we go. Yeah. Uh so I'm doing the rebooted version of the decades challenge. And the reason for that is because I found it a little easier to understand. Um, okay, so, all right, you are cleaned up pet poop, need amusement, stressed from school, goes a buyer, oh, and he still has a simmering rage for somebody, and I still don't know who the simmering rage is. Ooh, I want to see if sim profiles have been fixed. Yes, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. He's a technophobe, so therefore he does not like, um, technology. Um, let's check, is it Laura Beth he has a problem with? No, because he's no sentiments built to her, yeah. Okay, what about your mum? Okay, we cannot do anything. You can only do it with a few people. Okay, let's see if she can do it with Charles. Anybody else? Can she open it with other people? Okay, so the sim profile thing has been broken again. Yay! 
Okay, so she is giving herself a pep talk. And then we're going to have her just go back and do some more cooking. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's see. What will our Franks and beans are more suitable? Okay, so she can go and cook them. Lasse, Madel, Ma, Jack, where are you? Jack is coming home. Okay. Ooh, okay, this is a weird. I don't know what's happening there. Okay. Alright, okay, so I found it the last day in my 100 baby challenge. It was the um, bathtub. Okay. Um, it was the toddler one that I downloaded. This is it. So I'm going to actually pop that there and see if it works. This is how they used to wash the babies. So I'm going to have her go and wash John in it and see how it works. Okay. Um, Charles. All right. If you are meant to be this handyman, so like, can, can you start doing stuff? I uh, get him to make another dining chair. Okay. I don't understand why these didn't plant. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that in someone's inventory because we don't need it right now. Okay. You really should not be doing that, my girl. Are you able to knit? No. Okay. I do want them to keep making art because this is the only thing they're allowed to have in the room and um, maybe this is his art okay oh they're finished okay 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 all right there we go awesome okay i'll have her go back up and do some more holiday crafts let's do some romantic gifts she had a bummer school day okay Mom is playing. Who are you? Okay, I don't understand why you're here, but okay. Bye. Right, what uh, trimester is our girl in? Okay, she's got, she enters her last trimester in two hours. Okay. Um, I might have her go out here and weed and harvest her bluebells. That's the best thing we can do. Um, oh, I thought we asked her to give John a bath. Hmm. Okay. Can our son fish? He can. Oh my god, yes. You can go fish. Good kid. Good kid. You go fishing. Um, our cow plant, how are you doing? You're awesome. You're fine. Okay. And we're going to have Charles go and uh, feed the chicks. And... I don't know, just few them, I suppose. Um, our 1900 cow plant. I'm still trying to figure out what we need that for. Okay, so. Okay. Alright, so the rebooted version of the 100 Baby Challenge. Okay. Okay, so the. A YouTuber by the name of Cube Coffee Gal has created her own version of the Decades Challenge based on mine and Zombie Cleo's. Um, okay, so this one is... Okay, so... Turn of the 19th century. Only male, heir, male heirs are allowed. If there are no boys, then a woman's husband may inherit. So, if we hadn't had any boys and just girls, the husband of the firstborn girl would you know, he would air it, like he'd get all that money. Um he'll inherit all that money. Since we only have a relationship, um please stop doing this. May only have a relationship and marry with the opposite gender. Sims may only marry within their their own ethnicity and race. Uh Sims must only try for baby and never woohoo. Teenage Sims cannot mess around. No electricity, use candles or lanterns to light up the house. Women take care of the children, tidy the house and cook. They can help tidy the garden and go jogging for fun. Men can only have the entertainer, doctor or criminal career, but we give him the, do you know, like the farmer? Karen, can I take family leave? Even though she's done, all right, okay, whatever. I'm just going to get him to do another 
Um, danger. Okay, Caroline is cleaning. Isn't she so good? I'm not even telling her anymore, and she's just doing it. Uh, all right, and Charles Jr. is fishing. Okay, all right, back we go. Um, men can only have. All right, okay, we did that. Um, they can have tidy. All right, okay. Can may choose to stay at home and make money through woodworking, painting, and gardening. You can open a retail store or a restaurant only if you have enough money. Sims cannot get a divorce unless one of them commits adultery. In this case, flirting with another Sim in front of the spouse. If a woman becomes widowed, then she can earn money through painting, gardening, or woodworking. If she becomes divorced, then she can earn money through the entertainer career. Elementary is mandatory, but high school is optional. High school has a fee. It costs 1,000 simoleons for every teenager going to school. So we've got to choose wisely. University is okay. You might want to install a mod to reduce the amount of credits needed to graduate university. University to match up with the game time. Student loans are not allowed, but scholarships are. Female children move out once they are married. Optional. You can download um, a teenager, but I have MC Command so we can make a teenager pregnant. Uh, since women generally marry and have children before the age of 20. So obviously for Laura Beth, um, we marry her off at the age of 16 and then we get her pregnant and stuff like that. But then we move her out. Um, we can't go to festivals or something like that. We can't have cell phones. Um, only bathtubs, no showers, outside toilets only. Optional for more realistic details. Um, don't use any glass roofs. Now I haven't used any glass roofs at all. Only wooden furniture is allowed in the house. Wooden floors and walls. No drywall or wallpaper. But the cheapest, oldest stove, fridge, counters, etc. for the kitchen. Um, only impressionists or classic paintings are allowed to be hung. Kids' drawings can only be hung in the kids' rooms. If you seem to get sick, then they have to be cured naturally, so true herbal remedies. Um, every child born during the decade must be born at home. They can only be fed through breastfeeding and not by the bottle. Um, so the next generation is only when the eldest son is a young adult. So it's mad because every, a decade is every 10 years, but in Sims world, uh, 10 years is literally from newborn up to the age of 18. It's crazy. Okay. So, all right, it's late. I don't know why the kids are not in bed, but you need to go to bed, okay? Go to bed. And you are still fishing, so I'm gonna have you go to bed as well. Okay. Caroline is still very, very embarrassed. I'm just going to get her to keep giving herself pep talks and then we're going to have Charles, of course, cheer her up. Because that's what they all did back then. Share the technophobe tips. Hopefully you will stay away from the phone as well. Although I haven't seen her touch the phone either. Okay. I'm going to hug her lovingly. We can't just normally woohoo, so I'm just leaving that alone. Um... Are you okay, Charles? Love Lauren from the Romantic Tray. Okay, well, you can do all those romantic um, things with her if you want. Um, great, sir. I like that. So like that. Little John, time for you to go to sleep. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Franks and beans. Go back and go in the fridge. Thank you very much. What is this? Um, Charles? Garden salad. Okay. All right, okay. He's reached level three. Oh, so cute. I love this. I still don't know. Um, he's got this really weird, simmering hatred towards somebody, and it freaks me out. Okay, it's not like the sim profile's not working anymore. But this game glitches so much; it's unreal. Okay, I'm gonna get them all to go to bed. And it's the next morning and Charles is going around making sure he gets all of the harvesting done and everything because he's going to spend the day fishing with Charles Jr. So that is going to be amazing. Some father and son bonding time with the sheepies and the moo moos. And that's just the way things are going to be. So we're going to have him come look for frogs and fish with his dad. And of course, 
our little girl here, she's going to be just playing with her dollhouse. And mum, when you wake up, we're just going to have you knitting. Just resume what you were knitting. And little John is still asleep, which is super cute. Super cute. So, are you going to go fishing with your dad? He is. Okay, awesome. There is our boy. I'm going to have Carling go and um, fill his bowl as well. And these are her blue bells, so we're just going to get her to sell these because these are hers. Okay, and there we go. Uh, Charles, what are you doing? You have gone fishing. You're waiting for your son. Okay, no problem. Charles caught a cherry. Awesome. We could grow a cherry tree. Okay. Alright, how's everything going over here? For some reason, I don't think you finished your, your duties, your gardening duties. Because if you did, I wouldn't still have this option for you to sell everything. Mm hmm. There we go. What did Charles catch? An exotic goldfish. Um, you're meant to be fishing. Go fishing. Thank you. Oh, he's not fishing from here. You're not going to fish beside your dad, no. Okay. Um, Caroline, are you able to go for a walk or anything? You was heavily pregnant. What's our girl doing? Ugh. Oh, wow, okay. Stinka. Alright. Uh, can you get dressed, my dear? Change outfit. Get into your everyday. Good girl. And, um, is there not games the kids could go play? Do you know what I'm going to get her to do? I'm going to get her to come over here and we'll get her to daydream. Okay. She's super pretty, isn't she, guys? She's super pretty. Cloud gaze. There we go. Alright. Carly, do you want to go and give the beautiful John a bath? Fortunately, you still got to do all this job. <laughs> Even though you're pregnant, let's go. I want to see the bath and this thing. I want to see what it looks, what it looks like. Oh. Is this me or do they just like uh, not like doing what I told them to do before? Oh my god, that's super cute. That is so cute. Oh, he's having so much fun. Oh, wow. Okay, Charles. Okay. Oh my god, that cow just freaked me out for a second. Oh, I would love if there was real cows in this. Okay, how about you... You know what? Okay, there's not an against saying that they can't do it, so I'm just going to have a go play on this. Because it's not fair. <laughs> um, our boy here, he gets school fishing. That's oh, that's building up his mental skills. Okay, they're so like, aren't they? Okay, so I want to get the you know the photo boot studio, um, and I'm thinking that we could just kind of like um put it down in this plot here, um. Do you like where they go for a family portrait? Cause I'd love to get the whole lot of them in it. Like I have a father and son portrait with the two boys, and then have um something else. Cause I'd love to have family portrait up there, like with them, the family. But I got away. Okay, where's our girl? She's playing. Oh, do not talk to strangers. Mom, maybe you should come here. What does she want to do? Kiss Charles. I want to complete some of the wins as well and play. Oh, we'll buy a pet ball. Okay. Charles, you are killing it at fishing. Okay. Alright, so, so, so. Bump, bump. And these. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. There we go. 
What about the lovely Charles Jr? Okay, so pretty cool. Got a cherry as well, but we're gonna sell it. There we go. Got something else, I don't know why you call it. Okay, uh, Carlin, where are you? I may get you to do this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. So, oh, you little scamp! No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Go sit here. Good boy. No. Um. All right, you're done fishing. Fishing. Oh, we caught a cow plant. Okay, we gotta bury that. Okay, we got another cow plant, so let's go out and bury another one. I mean, so another one. Okay, so they're all doing stuff. That's cool, cool, cool. Oh, so this boy, I mean, literally, I don't know why he's so angry. But look at this. Witness inappropriate behaviour from witnessing improper behaviour. This is a time, a place, there is a time and a place for everything, but it's abhorrent. What happened here? Alright, Charles, fix something. Um, this, uh, display such behaviour in front of a proper sim. And she's going to get burnt any minute. She's going to get emotional outburst from watching an emotional meltdown. Charles Jr. is a brat. It's like he's like really angry and we had to ground him but it's not working because he actually broke the grounding. Um you can help actually no, you can, you're not meant to do that. <laughs> but like can you just get Laura Beth to go outside and play? Please um influence to play outdoors. Mom's getting mad. Okay, so she's going to do the same for him, influence him to just go out and play. Oh, you little scamp, where are you going? Take clothes off, oh my god. Right, Laura Beth, can you go outside and play us all? Aggravating conversation, playing pirate, dollhouse inspiration. Okay, so you're going to come out and play. And so are you. And Charles, we're going to have you go paint. I bought him an easel. So we're just going to get him to practice painting, okay? Oh, feeling sad from Baby Blues. I don't know why you have that. But it's a morning Sam. Okay, let's make sure we don't have anything over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't eat the cake. Don't eat the cake. Come and feed and come and water this one, please. Thank you. Well, I still need you to come and feed the, this, please. <clears throat> okay. Um. Oh my God, Charles, go outside and play before I freaking kill you. Um, influence to to play. Influence him to play. That's all we can do. And Charles is. What Charles is meant to be feeding the cow plant. Oh my god, just feed the cow plant. Okay. Well, dude, you better have your clothes back on. Where are you? Okay, Caroline has a level line. That's awesome. Okay. How is she doing? Okay. She's going to give birth any minute. So we might have to get the crib back out again. And we'll end this beautiful episode with the birth of another child. Okay. We only need one. Okay. Ta-da. Baby. Grab the objects. Oh. There we go. And system. There we go. Okay. Yay. Okay, I hope we have another little girl because I freaking love girls. Okay, so um, I thought I had herbs for her. 
Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh my god, we have lilies. Okay, plant the lilies. This is her little garden. And we're just going to plant a tree right here. Smack in the middle. Alright, we're going to sell that. I'm going to sit pretend I... Okay, there we go. Okay, Laura Beth, what are you wearing? Mm. Uh, nope. Okay, are you angry anymore? Are you just this from grounded? That's it. Um, I think I just just thought. Oh, is this cute? Oh, it's so cute. I like that. Um, maybe you should go. I'm not sure what we could do with him. Do you know what? We're getting to go fishing. It seems to calm him. Did we feed the cow? We did. Girl, what are you doing? Let's just get you to, you know, we need washer because Charles is such a disaster. Charles, listen, listen. Okay, can you do some contemplating? and do a small classic painting. We're only allowed a certain certain paintings in our house. So what is that? Um, hold on. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> um, only impressionists or classic paintings are allowed. Can you please come here? Alright, so we can do classic paintings. So do small classic paintings. Awesome. Dude, you have to go around. Go here. Thank you. And do a classic painting. Thank you. Can you not get in here? Is this what's happening? Yeah, well, we're going to have him do classic paintings. And Charles Jr. is doing awesome. Why are you angry again? You're going tension from becoming tense, okay. You are a silly scholar. Okay. And she could do some bonding with Laura Beth. Um right, no point doing this with her. Influence to skill build. Influence to play outdoors. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, won't be long now before she has the baby, so we'll pick this right back up when she goes into labour. Okay, she's gone into labour, guys. I'm just gonna have her go and have the baby. What's wrong? Okay, here we go. <gasps> we had a girl! We had a girl! Oh my god, we had a girl! Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Um, so the way I wanted to play it was, um, okay, my grandpa and my nan, they were born in oh, the, the 30s. So I want to play this outright where it goes that right. Um, my great-great-grandmother and my great-great-grandfather, they were born back in the 1890s. And I managed to get a picture of them the other day. So the next um, girl, I'm going to um, I'm gonna name her, is actually Mary. Okay, so it's Mary Sullivan. Um, so that's we got two boys and two girls. Um, so I'm hoping. Oh, look at that new baby. He's like so tense, but I really think he should go to bed. Oh my god, look at the time. Okay, so I'm gonna get her to breastfeed. Um. And talk to Baba and like it's just like the things they all do when they're first born and then I'm just gonna get babies up to bed okay I'll get all of the kiddos up to bed Charles is still painting outside okay so can we get you to go to bed thank you sleep and um, you go to sleep as well we are so late I can't believe I let you stay up this late and um, sleep and then Charles you're gonna come get off that freaking phone um 
you're gonna go to sleep and Caroline you are gonna go to sleep as well and like there we go okay um best way to have is all kids go to bed mom's dealing with babies um dad will be in in a second although I think he's stuck out there okay you got you go here if you can't then just teleport there and go to sleep please there we go what's wrong don't go into pre it's too late. I've already had the baby. Right, let's have a look at the painting. I'm thinking, okay, small classical painting. It's poor, but um, it is the first painting in our house and we can officially have it because it's a classic. Okay, so we're gonna put that in her kitchen. It's Charles' first painting for her. Okay, Charles, please go to bed. Okay. No, 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 no. Go to sleep, please. Little man, you need to go to bed. This is why I put you to bed. Okay, off we go. Now. Oh, 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 oh. Jack, do not come into the house barking. That's not what we need, okay? Okay, so guys, I'm actually going to end the episode here. We have a new little baby. Her name is Mary, and we are officially going to be kind of bringing my family heritage into the Decades Challenge, which is awesome because I've been learning so much about them lately because of this Decades Challenge. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to the Bear Bear Bunch. And if you haven't already, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell and I shall see you guys all in another episode. Bye!